Hello everyone. Um, sorry about that um, mess up last episode. It's just the fact is my um, internet was kind of bogging down so I couldn't have um, recorded as well as I could have. You probably noticed by the end there was the animation was probably messed up so I um, waited for a little bit and now it's back to normal. So now basically this episode I just beat the guys. They're all they're still gonna be there, now I'm gonna basically tell the Gondor King that I beat his two henchmen. And basically I'm gonna actually do, um, do the uh, let's not go down there yet. Ah, the little wizard is back. Are you ready to surrender now? No, I beat your two strongest henchmen. You I'm tell the Gobbler your... King about your battles with Baron's Greebly and Rotunda. What? You defeated them? I find that hard to believe. I'll have to send someone to find out if what you say is true or not. Just as the Gobbler King is getting ready to call, a messenger breaks into the room. Sir, the two barons have been defeated by a student wizard. What shall we do? Oh dear. What you said is true. Then that means no Gobbleton uh, <laughs> yeah, no, is yours. Spare me and my people, wizard. We mean you no harm. I ask that we are allowed to stay here. Our old home was filled with witches, and we are too scared to go back. I promise we will not eat so much. <laughs> you have my word. I gotta wish everyone. Uh, how fortunate that not all. Um. Let's So basically, this, since this is an apology episode, I'm not going to go that far. I'm actually going to save a little bit. I'm just going to be, um, um, get the books for, um, the teacher. Did I, um, get all the barrels? No, I didn't. So that might be a good thing to do instead, just finish up all the side quests here. Found my barrels. Yeah, no now, if the gobblers would just stay away from them. Yeah, but you didn't either. The evil snowmen are eyeing my shipment of sugar. It's not because they have a sweet tooth. They just worry that they may be on the menu if the gobblers get hungry. They know gobblers would take sugar over snow any day. But I need to deliver that sugar. The children would be disappointed without their cookies. Aww. Would you battle a few of those evil snowmen and chase them away? Then I can deliver the goods to Kaza. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little um, pause until I finish to beat the snowman. Okay, see ya in a little bit. This, this time I'm. So basically, I'm back now. Basically, this is the final attack to basically the last snowman. Okay. Excuse me. 
With those snowmen gone, I think I can make a run for it and deliver this special sugar to Kaza. Thanks. Ah! I couldn't make a run for it alone, but not carrying that barrel of sugar. The gobblers might take a bite out of me while I'm trying to get to the sugar. And I'm not all that sweet. Would you deliver a barrel for me? If those gobblers mess with you, you can mess with them right back. So basically, then I just deliver it to him. Okay, no problem. No, no, no. I'm just gonna pull that trick again. There we go, it worked. Great. As you've seen in the last episode, no, it doesn't always work, but it should work enough times to do it. And you don't do it in dungeons because then you slip out of it. I got that little sugar fan. Ah, my barrel of sugar! <laughs> Just imagine if the gobblers had gotten hold of this. Thank you so much. No problem. Snow, snowy pine, and offset dig. And let's go turn in the thing that wins and fix it down. Amazing, young wizard! You have brought peace with the gobblers! Yep. You've done a great job! Be sure to tell Headmaster Ambrose what the Gobbler King said. Now I can get back to my project. Yes, you sure can. I'm just gonna see if there's any other um, quests in here. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So I'm basically just gonna turn it into Merle Ambrose. And you get a set for this. Probably the first one you get in the game. It's not very powerful, ultimately, compared to the sword, uh, sword I stitched. My plan worked. Oh, that's excellent news. Yeah, that is great news. You tell Headmaster Ambrose what the Gobbler King said about their home world. Yeah, they're kind of afraid of witches and don't want to go back. My, my. I certainly don't want to force them to go back to a world where they aren't welcome. Very well. We will let them stay on Colossus Boulevard. It appears we have new neighbors. Yep. The crate of jelly beans and the staff of ancients. You must defeat Foulgaze, a horrid ghost that hides in a tower in Old Town. Take his key and bring it back to me. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do that one because I have time. Besides, I don't think I've done a boss this episode, so I might as well put a boss's list instead of just doing two bosses the next episode. Every time I do a holiday thing, I try to rush to get the holiday stuff done. Then normally I spend, normally when I'm done, it's like um, the day before it ends. And then I don't put it up until it ends. But unfortunately, with this one, um, the holidays are functions for any holiday, so. Sierra's so, Tower, let's go. In. Oh, and I'll be level 15. So. Fool, you dare to defy foul gaze? As you drift off into the darkness, your last sight will be my face. So be it. So basically, when I get to level 15, I can buy castles, and I'm gonna do a castle tour of everything, so. That might be kind of fun. It's gonna be an off thing, so. But I'll do it, um, basically between, um, between the projects. And I'm pretty much almost there now. Electric, I'm not gonna hit it with thunder bats, but I wanna use thunder bats and use it on the boss. Things actually go 
going pretty well for me. My uh, scorpions are going a bit more damage. Ah. Oh, that's okay. I'll just draw it from my turn to deck again. There we are. No, I should be able to knock him out with one thing. If I can. Basically, I can beat this guy in one shot. And then hit him with this one. So basically I will um, have a thing this time. Next episode I'll basically um, head in and do lots parts of this main world and then I'll do my uh, house tours, basically. Oh, looks like she's got a side quest for me. Greetings, young wizard. You look like you could use some proper clothes for keeping Wizard City safe. Okay. I can make you a splendid set that will help protect you. To show you a wonderful wizard outfit, I'll need fabric that's been bonded with magic. I'm out of material right now, but I know where you can get some. Begin by bringing me some shrouds from Haunted Minions on Triton Avenue. I'll get to work once I have those. Basically, it's collecting a bunch of stuff from the things over there, and you get a new set of armor for it. It's actually not bad. It might not be the greatest armor compared to what I got from the crown shop. It's pretty complex, actually. You have defeated Foul Gaze Great and found yeah. the tower key. Great job, young wizard. Now we can get down to work. My reading of the archives confirms what I suspected. These invasions are being led by the Wraith, Lord Nightshade. I'll talk to him later, so... I'm Simeon. Come and see me when you get a chance. I have news for you about housing. I'm in Ravenwood, near the boys' dormitory. Thanks. Okay, so basically now I can buy a castle. So I don't have to live in the dorms anymore, but... I'm gonna talk to him and finish it up. Um, this goes up to end the episode up with. Hello. You're still living in the dorms, right? Did you know you can get better student housing? You should go and speak to Bugsley, the castle shopkeeper. He'll get you set up with a new castle of your own. Bugsley's in the shopping district. His shop is next to Alex Edge. Okay, no problem. Oh yeah, basically it's um, St. Patrick's Day right now. That's why I want to get this um, part done. Because um, the next boss, Lord Nightshade, 
grant you holiday eggs. So basically, if you, um, so you normally see people, um, grilling them, um, well, grinding them around the holidays just to get the crown shop items. You can also get five of them from this girl here. Since this is St. Patrick's Day, she's called Pot of Gold. So basically, there's only wands and then one pet available for her. And basically, the wands are not that great, but they look really good. As you can see, I bought the harp myself. And don't be um, fooled, I thought I was going to be okay, but um, the harp only just um, does, you don't string it. It basically acts like a normal wand, which kind of ruined part of the purpose for it. But it's still a cool weapon anyways, if you want to use it, but... So anyways... Welcome! You look like a wizard of means. Can I interest you in an exciting new castle home? Basically, that's it. So now that we're level 15, we can buy houses. So basically, I'm gonna, probably going to do a um, house tour every once in a while. I'm going to do it not on um, Mount Back, so I can look around a little closer. I know what house I want to start with this character anyways, but... But basically, I want to finish. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time then. Bye.